Hello and welcome guys. In the last video we have seen a projection of line when it is inclined to both the planes HP and VP. Now we will try to solve one problem on the same type. Here is the problem. A line AB 65mm long has its end A 10mm above HP and 20mm in front of VP. So this is the location of point A dash and point A is given. So obviously A dash will be 10 mm above XY line and 20 mm below XY line. In front of vertical plane means you are getting projection on a horizontal plane which you can rotate downwards. Again, it is given inclined to HP by 30 degree and 45 degree to VP. So true inclinations are given in the problem that is theta and phi. First of all, we will draw the given data in terms of notations. So actual line AB 65 mm long. So A dash B1 dash and A B2. A dash B1 dash is the true length in front view. A B2 is true length in top view. That both the length we are getting 65. After that theta is given 30 degree and phi is given 45 degree. A dash is given 10 mm above XY line and point A is given 20 mm below XY line. So very first of all we will draw the XY line and then at a distance of 10 mm we can project point A dash that is the front view of the point A. Once you get A dash you can draw the projector of point A. This is the projector of point A where top view of the point will lie on the same line. We have the distance of top view point that is 20 mm below XY line. So we will measure 20 mm and we will mark point A. Now once you get this point, so from point A dash we can mark true length that is A dash B1 dash at an angle of theta. So we will measure angle theta that is 30 degree and we will mark the true length so here we get point B1 dash. This true length measures 65 mm, right? Once you get B1 dash, you can draw the locus of point B dash. Because B1 dash and B dash will lie on the same locus. Similarly, in the top view, point B2 and point B will lie on the same locus. So we have used uh, data of theta here. Now we will use another data that is angle phi. So from point A we will measure angle phi and we will mark the true length that is line AB2. So we get locus of point B because this is the locus where point B and B2 both will be lying on the same plane. So this is again a true length at an angle phi that is 45 degree. Now we have true length in front view. We know that if we are getting true length in front view, its projection in top view would be the line parallel to XY line. We will draw its projection downwards till we get line parallel to XY line. Here we get the projection of point B1 dash as B1 in top view and the length becomes plan length. The plan length is always equal to the top view length. So we will take a B1 distance in compass and from point A draw an arc over here wherever this arc will meet locus of point B that point will be point B itself now join this A and B by straight line this is the top view line here after getting point B you can draw the projector of point B vertically upward till it meets locus of point B dash in front view that point becomes point B dash and you can directly draw A dash B dash line which is the front view of the line. So guys this is one kind of problem in projection of line when line is inclined to both the planes and its inclination with horizontal plane and vertical plane that is theta and phi, phi are given. So guys this way we can solve the projection of lines problems which are involving line inclined to both the planes and its inclination with respect to horizontal plane and vertical planes are given that is theta and phi so guys we will try to cover more problems on projection of lines 
सो कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग गाइज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग